So let's talk about the real numbers. What are the real numbers? Why did they break infinity, the right. countable infinity? Right. Looking it up on perplexity, uh, real numbers include all the numbers that can be represented on the number line, encompassing both rational and irrational numbers. We've spoken about the rational numbers, and the rational numbers, by the way, are, by definition, the numbers that can be represented as a fraction of two integers. That's right. So with the real numbers, we have the algebraic numbers. We have, of course, all the rational numbers. The integers and the rationals are all part of the real number system, but then also we have the algebraic numbers, like the square root of 2 or the cube root of 5 and so on. Numbers that solve an algebraic equation over the integers, those are known as algebraic numbers. It was an open question for a long time whether that was all of the um, real numbers or whether there would exist numbers that are the transcendental numbers. The transcendental numbers are real numbers that are not algebraic. And we won't even go to the surreal numbers about which you have a wonderful <laughs> blog post. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Oh, great. So it was Louisville who first proved that uh, there are transcendental numbers, and he exhibited a very specific number that's now known as the Louisville constant, which is a transcendental number. Cantor also famously proved that there are many, many transcendental numbers. In fact, it follows from his argument on the uncountability of the real numbers that there are uncountably many transcendental numbers. So most real numbers are transcendental. And again, going to perplexity, transcendental numbers are real or complex numbers. They're not the root of any non-zero polynomial with integer or rational coefficients. This means they cannot be expressed as solutions to algebraic equations with integer coefficients, setting them apart from algebraic numbers. That's right. So some of the famous transcendental numbers would include the number pi, you know, the the uh, 3.14159265 and so on. Uh, so that's a transcendental number. Also mm -hmm. Euler's constant, the e, like e to the x, the exponential function. So you could say that some of the sexiest numbers in mathematics are all transcendental Absolutely, numbers. Absolutely, that's true, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Although, you know, I know the square root of two is pretty... Square root, all right, <laughs> so it depends. Let's not, <laughs> beauty can be found in in, right. in all the different that's kinds right. of sets, but yeah. And if you have a kind of simplicity attitude, then, you know, zero and one are looking pretty good too, so, and they're definitely not. Sorry to true. take that tangent, but what is your favorite number? Do you have one? Oh gosh, you know, is it zero? Did you know there's a proof that <laughs> every number is interesting? <laughs> you can prove it because, yeah, what's that proof look like? Yeah, well, okay. how do you even begin? I'm going to prove to you that okay. every natural number is interesting. Okay, you know, I mean, zero is interesting because you know, it's the additive identity, right? That's pretty interesting. And one is the multiplicative identity. So when you multiply it by any other number, you just get that number back, right? And two is, you know, the, the first prime number that's super interesting, right? And mm -hmm. okay, so yeah. one can go on this way and, and give specific reasons, but I want to prove as a general principle that every number is interesting. And, and this is the proof. Um, suppose toward contradiction that there were some boring numbers. Okay. Uh, but if, okay. if there was an uninteresting number. Yes then there would have to be a smallest uninteresting number. Mm -hmm. Yes. But that's a contradiction because the smallest uninteresting number is a super interesting property to have. <laughs> so therefore, there cannot, oh, be, good. there cannot be any boring numbers. I'm going to have to try to find a hole in that proof because <laughs> there's a lot of baked in in the word interesting. But yeah, that's, a be that's beautiful. Right. 